North Miami Beach voters will elect the mayor after a chaotic few years for city government. The incumbent was elected in a special election after the former mayor was arrested. And his challenger is a commissioner who has actually boycotted several meetings. Local 10's Glenna Milberg has a profile of this race. North Miami Beach voters have had their fill of city drama and division, and both candidates for mayor promise to look forward. Being transparent, um, being impartial. Mayor Evan Piper is the incumbent. He won a special election last year to fill a vacancy left by the arrest of former Mayor Anthony DiFilippo, who's accused of voting where he did not live. But infrastructure, I think, is key. His opponent, City Commissioner Michael Joseph, had been one of DiFilippo's most vocal opponents, even skipping meetings during questions about his residency. I think at the end of the day, people just want to have safe cities, want to have places that, where they can hang out, be with their families, have clean streets, have city um, services that are uh, easy, easily accessible. Piper is a former commissioner, a veteran of the planning board. Improving our city services, improving our economic situation, um, improving our development. We want to have, you know, really good, responsible development. Joseph, an attorney, has been a commissioner six years. I passed six budgets, and through those six budgets, we've been able to increase our reserves substantially. We've got over close to $30 million in, in reserves and, and it continues to grow. We were able to hold raising taxes this year. This election marks a potential new beginning for this 100-year-old city roiled by identity politics and past corruption. Not everybody is someone who could pull everybody together and unify them, which I believe that I've successfully done. The mayor here is one vote. There are six commissioners and three of them are actually also up for election. So voters here decide whether and how much they want change. I'm Glenna Milberg in North Miami Beach, Local 10 News.